Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today we're going to talk about leprosy because the last Sunday of January every year is always called World Leprosy Sunday. Who knew that was still a thing? I didn't. I didn't know that leprosy was actually still around. These days it's called Hansen's disease. It's the oldest disease in the world and it always pops up in movies, especially biblical movies or movies with those kind of themes. And it's the disease where you lose limbs. Um, leprosy was once feared as a highly contagious and devastating disease. It existed here, I think, in the Middle Ages, in medieval times. But, you know, it doesn't spread easily. And treatment is very effective, especially with antibiotics. However, if you don't treat it, then you can end up with the crippling of the hands, paralysis, and blindness. It's still a very big thing in Bangladesh, some countries in that region, as well as Brazil. Symptoms mainly affect the skin, nerves, and membranes. You'll know if you have it if you get discolored patches of skin, usually flat, that are numb. There's also thick, stiff, or dry skin, painless ulcers on the soles of your feet, loss of eyebrows or eyelashes. You can also have muscle weakness or paralysis and numbness of affected areas. Since leprosy or Hansen's disease affects the nerves, loss of feeling or sensation can occur as well. Advanced leprosy means the shortening of toes and fingers, paralysis, very serious paralysis, uh, chronic non-healing ulcers, loss of eyebrows, nose disfigurement, redness and pain around the affected area. Well, you might think to yourself, well, I'm not going to get that. You might, especially in these days where people are traveling from country to country, but don't worry, you can't catch it easily. It is actually quite difficult to catch it. We don't know exactly how leprosy or Hansen's disease spreads between people. Scientists currently think it happens with coughs or sneezes, and if a healthy person breathes in the droplets of bacteria, but you can't get leprosy from uh, shaking a hand or sitting next to someone on the bus or even sharing food. You can't get it unless the person is coughing all over the food, for example. Um, it's also not spread through physical contacts. So that means if your new wife from Brazil uh, is with you, then there's no fear of you actually getting it. Um, it's a very slow-growing disease, uh, so you wouldn't catch it quickly anyway. So it's often difficult to find who gave it to you because it takes so long to, uh, to form in your body. Um, in the United States, armadillos are naturally infected with leprosy, which is a little bit strange, and therefore they can spread it to people. But again, that risk is very low. But if you do come across an armadillo, then you obviously shouldn't touch it. Or if you do, you should talk to a doctor just to make sure. Um, in the US, United States at the moment, there's 2 million people who are permanently disabled with Hansen's disease. Um, and apparently, more than 95% of all people have natural immunity to it. So again, that means you're very unlikely to get it anyway. And finally, the countries where it exists, Congo, Ethiopia, Madagascar, Mozambique, Nigeria, United Republic of Tanzania. Oh, 
which reminds me of uh, that David Bowie song, Dancing in the Street, where he lists all the countries at the beginning of the song. Anyway, uh, I'll continue. Bangladesh, India, Indonesia, Myanmar, Nepal, Philippines, Sri Lanka, and also Brazil. So there we are. That's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this. See you soon.